Hello everyone, I'm Leah Torbert with Harrington Strategic Partners and today I'm bringing you another episode of Harrington's Bookshelf. Our book this week is Nine Minutes on Monday by James Robbins. Today we're going to talk about the three principles that hold a team together. The first principle is purpose. Now when you're trying to determine what a team is, you want to make sure that you're not calling a group of people that are collected together for reporting purposes a team. That, all that is is a group of people on a report. That's not actually a team. They're not working together to try to achieve some kind of goal. A real team needs to have purpose. They need to have a reason for being in existence. What is it that they're trying to accomplish? Is their goal you know, implementing a new ERP system? Is their goal Right, trying to reorganize processes and procedures is their goal you know trying to complete a customer project on time whatever the goal may be it has to exist and it must bring purpose to the people that are included otherwise you're not really looking at a real team the second principle is trust now it it may sound like you don't even need to say this but you know, team members need to be able to trust each other they need to be able to break down the walls that as just individuals we put up to try to protect ourselves we need to you know remove those barriers and be able to talk to each other be able to trust each other and be able to know that the other people on our teams are going to have our backs they're going to be there when we need them and then they will know that we will be there when they need us as well because as a team it's reciprocal but they also you know, need to make sure that there is no fear of judgment. You know, if something goes wrong, you know, it will be analyzed and looked at, but there's not going to be name calling and playing the blame game and all those things. You know, as a team, you're all supposed to be working together as a cohesive unit to achieve your goal. So it's, it's at cross purposes to try to blame someone on the team, to try to single them out, to try to judge them in some way. So in order to have an effective, positive team, you need to have trust. The third principle of you know, team building is ownership through clarity and accountability. Clarity is super important. At, as a team member, you need to know what it is that you're responsible for and what the other members of your team are responsible for as well. Otherwise, you could get really confused and you, know, you might be trying to do some work and one of your team members might be trying to do the same thing and then you're doing double work and you, maybe you're going to get into an argument because it wasn't really clear about what was supposed to be going on. But with clarity, everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing and when. They know what is expected of them and the other people on their team. And then the additional piece to that is the accountability. People need to know that they're going to be held accountable for what they are responsible for. They need to know that there are consequences if they don't do the things that they're supposed to do. And the team members need to know that everyone is going to be held accountable equally. It's not just one member of the team over the other. There's no favoritism. There's no judgment. You know, there's, there's none of these you know, things like we're back in middle school or high school you know, where you know, there's people that are being singled out for certain things. Everyone is being held accountable, including the manager, including you. Everything that we're assigned to do, everything that we have agreed that we are responsible for, we are held accountable for it. And this helps bring the team together even more because we're, t we're completely working as a unit. We're not at cross purposes. We're not worried that someone's going to be treated differently than we are. Everyone is on the same level and we're all working as hard as we can to achieve that goal, whatever our goal for the team is. I hope this video has been very helpful for you. If you're interested in learning more about Harrington Strategic Partners and how we can help you build your business, you can go to my website, harringtonstrategicpartners.com, access my calendar directly, and schedule a time that works for you just for a quick chat. We can talk about some of the challenges you're experiencing in your business, and I'll do my best to help you out. I'd also like for you to follow me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And again, my website is harringtonstrategicpartners.com. We've got one more video for nine minutes on Monday. We'll catch you tomorrow and see how it goes. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.